to start here in the sitting position. Sitting position, please, please listen to your body. Adjust in the healthy side, not in the injured side. Just follow your body. Listen what your body is saying. Hands to your heart, sit up tall. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed down. You're opening your chest, but your front breaks, you're hugging in your front breaks, and your head is going up towards the uh, ceiling. Your chin parallel to the floor and your hands to heart center in Namaste hands. And your Jali Mudra. And just connect with your breath right here. Breathe in and out through your nose. Breathe deeply, not shallow. On the next inhalation, I want you to welcome your breath into your body. Then welcome your body onto your mat. And last, welcome yourself. Welcome your whole self into this present moment, the here and now. Welcome yourself to that space that you create for your practice. I'm going to start with one ohm, exhaling from your belly. One ohm is the universal sound. Deep inhale. Lift your heart, bow your head, and release your hands and your thighs. This is a great moment to set up an intention. Let's take a deep inhale through your nose and take that intention with you and seal it up. Big exhale, open mouth, share it with the universe. One more time, deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale, open mouth. Just let it go, breathe it out. Lift your gaze, open your eyes. Namaste, welcome to class. Okay. Uh, Carlos, I have a hard time uh, listening. Oh, okay. Then just follow how I move, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's start here in all fours, guys. All fours. Hands and knees. All fours. Hands and knees. Make sure your hands underneath your shoulders. Your knees underneath your hips. And then spread your fingers wide as much as you can. All five fingers spread it wide and make sure that your index fingers pointing forward. Now, root down to your shins and keep your belly engaged. Do not drop your belly. This one is too bad for your lower back. Keep it up. Now, inhale, open in your chest, pull your chest through your arms, feel the arching of your back, your shoulders are down, your neck is an extension of your spine, then you're just looking forward and up without hyperextending your neck. And your belly is engaged, sending your sitting bones towards the back wall for cat stretch, for cow stretch. Inhale here, exhale, round your spine for cat stretch. Then send your meat back up towards the ceiling as you press your palms and your chins onto the ground. Lifting your, your meat back up towards the ceiling and you steal your shoulders down and away from your ears. Your head hang heavy between your arms. Breathe here. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Stay for the inhale and the exhalation. Inhale, open up your chest for cow. Remember, do not drop your belly. Keep your abdominal muscles engaged. Exhale, round your spine. 
for cat stretch. One more time. Yes, Juliana. Inhale, open up your chest for cow. Exhale, round for cat. Come back to neutral. Now we're going to do big um, child's pose, big toes, big toes touching. Open your knees a little bit and release your hips, your tushy on your heels. And stand, walk your arms in front of you. Then this one is an extended child's pose. Your hands pressing into the ground. Your forearms are off the ground. Your arms are straight. You're engaging your arms, your shoulders down and away from your ears. Maybe your forehead on the ground, maybe not. As you lengthen all four sides of your torso towards the back wall. We're going to do it dynamically between cat and cow and this position, child's, extended child's pose. Inhale, opening your chest for cow. Don't move your hands or your legs. Exhale, round for cat, and back to child's pose. Then this is a dynamically movement. Inhale, open up your chest for cow. Exhale, cat, and then back to child's pose. It's a dynamic movement, guys. Inhale, like a choreography. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, round, and back to child's pose. Your forearms doesn't touch the floor because your arms are engaged all the time. Inhale, opening your chest. Your arms are straight all the time. Exhale, round, and back to child's pose. Let's do the last one. Inhale, Vidalasana, cow stretch. Exhale, Marjoriasana, cat stretch. And then Uttita Balasana, which is the standard child's pose. Keeping your hands shoulder distance apart, walk your hands to your left. Keep your hands shoulder distance apart. Now release your right shoulder down on the ground as you twist your side bend towards your left, stretching your right side of your body. It's a lateral stretch. And still your sitting bones is still reaching back towards the back wall. Breathe here for Parivita, Parivita Uttita Balasana. Come back to the center. Let's go for the other side. Go to your right side now. Keep your hands shoulder distance apart because you don't want to be jamming on your shoulders, on your neck. Now, release your left shoulder down. Lengthen your sitting bones towards the back wall by the effort of your pelvic floor, your abdominal muscles pressing back. And reach to your right uh, side a little bit more, stretching the left side of your body. Come back to the center. Come back to all fours. That means you need to move your hands underneath your shoulders. Now, adjust your feet again. Feet straight, legs straight here. Your knees underneath your hips. Curl your toes under. I want you to hug your outer heels in. Don't let your heels go out. Heels in, outer hips in. Then this one, you're hugging your inner, your outer thighs. Inhale, opening your chest for cow. Exhale, cat stretch. Inhale, opening your chest for cow. Keep your belly engaged. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral. I know it's burning, burning legs. That's okay. Micro bend your elbows. Inhale here. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent. Come up on your toes on the way. Release your right heel down as your left knee bends. Do not hyperextend your right leg, guys. Your right knee cap is up. You're engaging your quads on your right leg. Come up on your toes on the way. Release your left heel down. Left heel is down. Left knee cap is up. Engage your left leg. Come up on your toes on the way. Right heel down. We go very gentle at the beginning of the class because we're warming up the hamstrings. Come up on your toes on the way, release your left heel down. Now come up on your toes on the way, press your palms onto the floor. Engage and wrap your triceps towards your face. Send your sitting bones towards the back wall, lengthening your entire spine. Now spin your inner thighs back Pressing your thigh bones back as you release your heels on the ground, engaging your legs, 
maybe lifting your toes up to feel the engagement of the engagement of your legs. We doesn't fit you, whatever it doesn't go with your body, please don't go. You can go into child's pose at any time, guys. Breathe. Come up on your toes, bend your knees, look forward, a step, a couple of steps is, is okay, or maybe just one. Inhale, halfway left, or let the edge shape, your spine is straight, Bear your shoulder blades closer, hands outside of your shins, your belly is in. Exhale, release, let go of your head. Maybe your belly is on your thighs, maybe not. You can straighten your legs if you don't have problems on your hamstrings or any issue or you with your lower back. Other than that, please keep the bending on your knees. One more time, inhale, halfway left. Your legs are straight, it's still warming up the hamstrings. You're pu pushing your chest forward. Exhale, release, Uttanasana, let go of your head, soften your knees if you need to. Now, leading with your chest, root down to your feet. Inhale, circle your arms out and up. You lift with your chest because I want you to come up with a spine straight all the way up, reach to your fingertips, hands to heart center, Sama City Heat. Okay, we're going to do, again, the sur, um, we're going to do this whole Surya Namaskar A, guys. And we're going to introduce the Chaturanga, very gentle, and please, please do it mindfully. Vera, you're getting hot. <laughs> Inhale, arms rise. All the way up, reach into your fingertips. Keep your abdominal muscles engaged. Exhale, leading with your hip, with your chest. Fall forward for Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway left, or the Uttanasana, spine straight. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to plank. Plank. Hips higher, Juliana. Hips higher. Yes, hips higher, pull your sternum forward. Inhale here. Exhale, shift forward to round your tippy toes. Release your knees on the ground. Release the top of your feet on the ground. Lower down, Chaturanga. Chaturanga, 90 degree angle on your arms. Get your belly off your, the, the floor, Juliana. Belly off the floor. Yes, now hit the floor, your chest at the same time as your hips. That one is really hard, I know. Just do not drop to the floor. <laughs> Place your hands next to your lower ribs. Create a 90 degree angle. Now inhale, low cobra, or Bhujangasana. Your legs are pushing and lengthening back. Your pubic bone is up towards your navel. You're pressing the pubic bone onto the floor as you lengthen the flesh buttocks down towards your heels. Do not engage your glutes. That's a tricky one. But until you get it, do not engage your glutes. Your belly is in, you're pulling your chest forward. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, low cobra. Now let's go pay attention to your shoulder heads. Shoulder heads, lift higher. It's not your chest. Your chest is high, but your shoulder heads are high too. That's different. Elbows in. Inhale here. Exhale here. Now leaving your knees on the ground. Inhale, up dog, your thighs, your belly, your chest off the ground, shoulders on top of your waist. Inhale here one more time. Exhale, curl your toes under, lifting from your hips, back to Adho Mukha Shvanasana, downward facing dog. Deepen your breath. That's the vinyasa flow. When you find a, a class that says vinyasa flow, is because they use this couple movements a lot. <laughs> then you can do a lot of vinyasas in one class. Uh, just please be mindful because this one, if you don't pay attention to your elbows, if you don't pay attention to your hips, you can um, mess up with those. Please, please listen to your body and do as much as you can. Come up on your toes, bend your knees, look forward. A step or slightly jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway left, or the Uttanasana, right away, spine straight, legs straight. Exhale, release, Uttanasana, include your head to relax the, the, 
the cranium going towards the ground. Root down to your feet, inhale, arms rise, lead with your chest. That means it's fine and straight coming up. Circle your arms out and up, all the way up. Keep your belly engaged, hands to heart center, Samasiti. We're going to do it one more time, the whole thing. Surya Namaskar A, all fluidly. Inhale, arms rise. Yes, get up. Exhale, Urpa Hastasana. Exhale, hinge from your hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Chaturanga, maybe you go to the floor, maybe you do low cobra and then up dog. Or maybe from Chaturanga, you go to up dog. You can lift your knees on the ground, or not lifting from your hips back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Then you have a couple options. Or maybe from top of the push up, which is plank, you just go back to down dog and skip the whole vinyasa flow all together. Then please, please listen to your body. I'm going to teach the vinyasa, but if you need to skip it, please do. Come up on your toes all the way, um, bend your knees, look forward. A step to the top of your mat, maybe slightly jump. Inhale, halfway left, or the Uttanasana. Exhale, release Uttanasana. Root down to your feet, inhale, arms rise, grow tall all the way up. Reach to your fingertips, hands to heart center, Samasthiti. Okay, we're going to do a sternal rotation of the legs, of the hips. Then we're going to use that vinyasa flow, and then that's called Surya Namaskar B. Surya Namaskar B with the sternals. We're going to start with chair pose. Then let's sit on your chair. Make sure your weight is on your heels and you're not passing your knees over your toes. You're sitting back. I know, like you're falling back. Keep your belly in. Reach with your arms forward. Now, your pelvis, your pubic bone is up towards your navel. Then don't tilt your pelvis forward that your two is up. Pubic bone up towards your navel. Open your chest, broaden across your collarbones, but your front ribs are in. This part here is really important because your lower back is safe. Shoulders down, reach forward with your fingertips, sit back a little bit more. Maybe you can lift up your toes. Lift up your toes. Yes, I can see your toes. Per and Cynthia, yes, I can see your toes. Oh, Juliana too. Breathe here, inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half and left. Exhale, hands to the floor. A step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Remember, you have options here. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Up dog. Lifting from your hips. Back to Adho Mukha Jvanasana. Downward facing dog. Deepen your breath. Oh, downward facing dog. We have a real dog doing downward facing dog. <laughs> Breathe here. Shoulders over your wrist. Right knee into your chest, round. Should you right leg back as you pull your chest forward, then this is three-legged plank, not three-legged dog. Three-legged plant and your elbows, your shoulders are on top of your wrist. Right knee to your nose, like kissing your knee. Should you right leg back, pull your chest forward. Right knee to your nose. Look forward, pulling your sternum forward, step through. Then when you just step through, you use your core muscles. Anchor your back foot flat, from here to back arch alignment. Pin your right hip in and back before you rise. Inhale, rise. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Carlosa, don't let your right knee to go in. Right knee on top of the ankle. Yes, yes, your belly is in, in and up, and you lift your ribs off your waist and rotate your ribs towards your left without moving your front thigh. Back leg is completely engaged, Per back leg is completely engaged, yes, breathe. Breathe here, arms in a straight line. Breathe here. Soften whatever you need to soften. I invite you 
to close your eyes. If you fall, you fall, that's okay. I want you to, <laughs> that's totally okay. I know it's hard to close your eyes here, but check your body, scan your body where you need to soft. Maybe you're pressing a lot on your toes, then lift up your toes, soften your toes. Maybe you need to go lower in your lunge, just go. Maybe you get softer on your pelvis, go softer, but without keeping engaged your abdominal muscles. And maybe you're reaching your arms because you're jamming on your joints, just engage your arms, guys. Breathe. Without moving your front thigh, inhale, reverse warrior, opening your chest. Don't straighten it the other way, Juliana. Yes, and don't straighten your front leg at all. Exhale, wind with your hands all the way down to the floor. High lunge, back heel is up. Lift your right foot without making any noise, back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Remember, you, can, you have options. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Lifting from your hips. Back to Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Downward facing dog. But this time, downward facing dog is getting a relaxing pose. At the beginning, it's really challenging. But right now, by right now, it's getting a relaxing pose. We're coming back here to neutralize our body. Just breathe. Always, always come back to your breath. Shoulders over your wrist, left knee into your chest round. Keep your plank. Shoot your left leg back as you pull your chest forward. Keep your plank, left knee to your nose, like kiss in your nose. Shoot your left leg back. Left knee to your nose. Look forward, pulling your sternum forward, using your core, step through between your hands. Anchor your back foot flat. From here to back arch alignment. Pin your left hip in and back before you rise. Inhale, rise. Virabhadrasana two. Juliana, I feel so sorry about your mom. Yes, she said that you said that she didn't have any yoga uh, ever. Yes, it's a little hard. I know. Breathe. Breathe here. Close your eyes and find where are you in a space. Proprioception is where you are on the space. Maybe soften, whatever you need to soften. Maybe it's your toes. Maybe it's your shoulders, release them down. Maybe you need to engage something more than you are right now. But don't let your left knee to go in, Carlos. Huh? Left knee on top of the ankle, yes. We need to be safe totally on the knees, guys. Now inhale, reverse warrior, without moving your front thigh. The other way, Juliana. The other way, yes. Breathe here, inhale here. Exhale, wind in your hands all the way down to the floor. Back heel is up for high lunge. And step your left foot back without making any noise. Then you're lifting from your core. Only you know if you know noise, if you make noise. Lower, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha. You can always can keep your knees off the ground. Lifting from your hips back to Adho Mukha Shvanasana. But if you're using your knees, please, please do not let your thighs and your belly drop on the ground. Your belly and your thighs are off the ground unless you're going to the floor. Okay, Cynthia, okay, okay. <laughs> breathe, breathe here. Come up on your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, and step or slightly jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release, Uttanasana. Root down to your feet, inhale, chair pose. Weight is on your heels for your chair pose. Sit back, breathe here, sit back. Now, we're going to place your feet together, big toes touching, feet together. 
Now sit lower. Imagine that you have a block between your thighs and you're pressing that block between your thighs. You're sitting lower, your pubic bone up towards your navel. Sit lower. From within, shoulders down, hands to heart center. Place your right hand on top of your right thigh. Bring your left arm all the way across. Palms together, elbows open. Keep pressing your inner thighs together. Don't let your left hip to go sassy. Left hip in and back as your left knee is in line with your right. Don't let it to go forward. Now keep your belly in, pull your chest forward and rotate towards your right. Yes, open up your chest, elbows out. Press your palms. Yes, yes, Carlos, your palms a little closer to your body. Then help you to rotate a little bit your torso. Breathe here. Juliana, lift, open up your chest. Yes, sit lower. Yes. Yes, breathe, inhale here, exhale forward, forward, inhale halfway left, exhale forward, forward, inhale chair pose, chair pose, good, Carlos, you are in chair pose still, come back, out of the chair pose, come back down, down, <laughs> down, down, relax here for a moment, yes, now inhale, chair pose again, Utkatasana. Chair pose, Utkatasana, yes. Hands to your heart. Place your left hand on top of your left thigh. Bring your right arm all the way across and palms together and then bring your elbows out. Now, pin your right hip in and back before you twist. Don't let your right knee Hey, Barrow. <laughs> Don't let your right knee to go forward. Right knee back in line with your left knee. Pull your seven forward and rotate towards your left. Shoulders down. Ciao, Barrow. Shoulders down. Breathe here. Breathe. Roll your shoulders down. Open up your chest. Inhale here. Exhale forward, forward. Inhale, halfway left. I know, that one is a hard one. <laughs> Exhale, hands to the floor. A step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Maybe you're not using your knees. And then doing the regular one. Inhale, up dog. Keep your thighs off the floor. Uh, Juliana, thighs off the floor. Thighs off the floor. Yes, open up your chest. Left in from your hips. Back to Adho Mukha Jivanasana. Downward facing dog. When you drop your hips onto the ground, guys, the only thing that you're doing is jamming onto your lower back uh, vertebras. Then your lower back vertebras are getting shorter. And then you're going to the arch. That back arch is really bad for your back. For your back. Then please keep your abdominal muscles engaged, your hips higher than you think, then you're good to go. Come up on your toes, bend your knees, look forward. A step or a slightly jump to the top of your mat. Oh, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release Uttanasana. Root down to your feet, inhale, arms rise, grow tall all the way up. We're going to skip Samasiti Hi. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, a step back to plank. And stay in plank, stay in plank. Big toes touching. We're going to do plank here. Remember if your wrist bothers you, go onto your forearms. Then still you're doing your plank. We're going to stay for a little bit here. Your belly's in, you're pulling your chest forward. Breathe here, plank. We are in plank, breathe here. Pull your chest forward, lengthen your legs back. Now, leaving your hands on the ground, go onto the outside of your left foot, right foot on top of your left. Your belly's in, you're pulling your chest forward, both hands on the ground. This is a Vashistasana in a different way. Breathe here. You can go on your forearms. Breathe here. You are on the outside of your left foot, and then your right foot is on top of your left, flexing both feet. Breathe. I know it's hard for you, the obliques. Use your obliques a lot. Pull your chest forward, lead it with your heels. Exhale, come back to the center. Press back to downward facing dog. I know, that one is a hard one. 
maybe big toes touching, release your knees on the ground, and go into extended child's pose. Arms by your sides for classic child's pose. Relax your arms, relax your wrist. Forehead on the ground. Breathe. Breathe. Juliana, your son is so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, come back up. Come back to all fours. Walk your hands three inches in front of your shoulders. Core your toes under. Why I tell you this? Because when you go up to plank, you are in the right stance. Yes. Breathe here. Breathe, plank. Hold your plank. Hold your plank. Big toes touching again. Big toes touching. Now, go onto the outside of your right foot. Your left foot is on top of your right. Both feet are flat. Your hips are higher. You're pulling your chest forward. Shoulders down and away from your ears. Both hands on the ground. Maybe bring more weight onto your left hand. As you rotate your torso using your obliques. The side ups. Breathe here. Breathe. Breathe. Side plank. Vashisthasana. But it's a little modification on this one. You can always go onto your forearms. Breathe. Using your obliques a lot, bring your heels to the center and press back to down or facing down. Maybe release. Let's go to child's pose again, guys. Arms by your sides, palms up, forehead on the ground, hips on your hips. Breathe. Come back to all fours. Walk your hands three inches in front of your shoulders. Core your toes under and press back to plank. Inhale here in plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Shoulders over your waist, right knee into your chest round. Shoot your right leg back as you pull your chest forward. Right knee outside of your right armpit. Outside of your right armpit. Shoot your right leg back. Right knee to your nose. Look forward, pulling your seven forward. Step your right foot closer to your right thumb. Back knee down. Inhale, rise. Anjana Yasana, low lunge. Make sure your knee stays on top of the ankle. Make sure your left hip is on top of your left knee. Then Juliana, you're hinging forward. I want you to go back. Your knee doesn't pass your toes. If you need more space, you walk your right foot forward. Your belly is in. You're reaching with your arms all the way up, feeling your palms, feeling your pulse. Coil your chest up and back. Keeping your abdominal muscles engaged. Do not drop your belly. Do not tilt your pelvis forward. Keep it up. Exhale, hands to her center. Place your right hand inside of your right foot. Oops, yes. Your right hand inside of your right foot on block or floor. Left hand on your sacrum. Pull your seven forward and rotate. Your right hand is inside of your right leg. Yes. Your left hand is on your sacrum. Pull your seven forward and rotate towards your left. Yes. You're opening your chest, shoulders down. Maybe you can extend your left arm all the way up. Breathe here. Breathe. Either you have your left hand on your hips or extend it. I want you to core your left toes under Left toes under, core your left toes under, and stretching your leg. Yes, I know. It's a lot of balance, a lot of strength. Breathe here. Now, anchor your back foot flat. Then it's from here to back arch alignment. Hopefully, you are there. Now, broaden down to your feet. Sit your belly in. Do not straighten your front leg. Inhale, rise to warrior two. Yes, yes. Keep your right hip in and back. Um, her, yes, right hip in and back. Yes, your back leg is engaged. Yes, inhale, reverse warrior, opening your chest. Yes, 
open in your chest, exhale, windmill your hands all the way down to the floor, a step back to plank, maybe you're doing your chaturanga, wherever you need to, uh, dog, maybe you skip it all together, back to downward facing dog. Use this relaxing pose, which is open your wrist, left knee into your chest well. Should your left leg back as you pull your chest forward. Left knee outside of your left armpit. Push your left, your outside of your left armpit. Should your left leg back. Left knee to your nose. Lock forward, step through. Anchor, uh-uh, uh uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Release your back knee down. Inhale, rise, and Janayasana. Yes, <laughs> I lost it for a moment, guys. <laughs> now, Seal your palms, seal your pose, look up. Then you curl your chest up and back. As you keep your belly engaged, your abdominal muscles are totally contracted. Then you run, tilt your pelvis forward. Tip it up as you open your chest. Breathe here, inhale here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Place your left hand inside of your left foot. On block or floor. Right hand on your sacrum. Then pull your step move forward and with the help of your left arm pressing onto your knee and your knee onto your chest, rotate and open your chest. Roll your right shoulder down and back. Breathe here. Now, if it's okay with you, if it's available, bring your right arm all the way up. You can always keep it on your sacrum. Open up your chest, Vera. Breathe here. Yes. Yes, breathe. Now, core your right toes under. The back leg. Core your right toes under. And stretching your back leg. Your back leg is completely engaged. Your back knee cap is up as you engage your quads. Yes, you firm your right leg. Now, anchor your back foot flat in an angle. Remember, back leg is in an angle. Now root down to your feet. Sip your belly in. Do not move your, your front thigh at all. Inhale, rise. Warrior two. Warrior two. Yes. Back leg. Don't bend your back leg, Carlos. Back leg is completely engaged. Yes, Vera. <laughs> Inhale, reverse warrior. Open in your chest. The other way. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Exhale, windmill your hands all the way down to the floor. A step back to plank. Maybe your chaturanga. Down dog, up dog, and then down dog. Deepen your breath. We're done with the hard work, guys. <laughs> Breathe. Shoulders over your wrist, right knee into your chest round. Look forward and step your right foot between your hands. Rotate your entire body towards your left until your feet are parallel to each other, your toes in front of your heels. Now engage your legs, bring your weight to the ball of your feet, your hands on the ground. Now, when you bring your weight to the ball of your feet, you may need to walk your hands forward Then your hands, your wrists, are underneath your shoulders. Breathe, your spine is straight. If you need blocks or if you need to go onto your fingertips, please do, but keep your spine totally straight. Breathe. Yes, breathe. Breathe here, beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale here. Now I want you to place your left hand in the middle of the, on the floor, maybe your fingertips or your palm, and bring your right arm all the way up. But you rotating from your ribs, your sacrum stays neutral, and then you rotating from your ribs. Maybe your hand, your right hand is on your sacrum, maybe it's all the way up. Maybe you wrap it around, rubbing your left, Side. Pull your sternum forward and rotate from your ribs, not from your hips. Your hips stay neutral. Engage your legs. Remember, you're rooting down to your feet. You're lifting your kneecaps up. Maybe you're lifting up your toes. Make sure that you're engaging your legs. 
breathe here. Release your right hand all the way up and release your hand, your right hand where your left was and then bring your left arm all the way up. Maybe you can place your hand on your sacrum, maybe you can leave it there. Maybe you can rotate your palm and wrap it around your waist, grabbing your right thigh. Breathe here, breathe here. Rotate from your ribs, remember your shoulders down, your legs are totally engaged, your belly is in. Your abdominal muscles are engaged. Release your top arm up, release your hand under. Now hands underneath your shoulders. Here if you have, oops, if you have more space, walk your hands back, creating, keeping your fingers forward, pointing forward, and then create the 90 degree angle on your arms, chaturanga arms, your elbows are in, and let go of your head on the ground. Elbows in, shoulders up. Breathe here. But whatever, if you are here, that's totally okay. Wherever you are. But if you're going back with your fingers pointing forward, you create a 90 degree angle. Breathe. You're extending your spine towards the ground. Breathe. Now walk forward, that's wonderful. Walk forward. Now rotate to your right again, bending your front knee, framing your front foot. Lift your right foot without making any noise. Press back to plank. Plank, hold it. Plank. Release your knees on the ground, cross your ankles, and bring your legs in front of you. Oh my God. I didn't expect to sweat so much, but I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> Talking and doing, I'm sweating. Okay, now, uh, we did a twisting. Extend your legs in front of you. Now, place your legs to the sides. Yes, let's do this one. This one and wind the body. Flex your feet. Make sure your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Press your femur bone on to, uh, your femur bones onto the ground. Reach your arms all the way up. Now side bend to your left. Yes, I'm going to mirror you guys. Now rotate your right shoulder to open your chest. Maybe if your arm over your head is too much, you can hold your head if you have something on your head behind, behind. Or you can keep your hand on your head. But I feel, I want you to feel the lateral stretch on your right side of your body. Now hinge forward from your hips a little bit more. If you have more space, you bring your left elbow inside of your left knee. If not, you can stay wherever you are. Yes. But open your chest, your left, your right shoulder is up and back. Yes, breathe. Lateral side, however you can do it. Lateral side, feel the stretch in the side. Breathe. Yes. <laughs> Carlos, that too tight? <laughs> yes, but when we stretch, guys, the lateral side gives us more space for the breathing then this is always good. I know it's annoying, but we need to do it. Come back up. Inhale here. Exhale, rotate your torso over your left leg and hinge forward. Then release your right shoulder down. Your torso is over your legs. You're lengthening your spine. Wherever you are, you can wrap your toes. You can wrap the outside of your left foot with your right hand. But whatever, release your right shoulder now. Breathe. This is a Vishta Konasana, the twisting. Breathe. The Parivrita, Upavishta Konasana. Pull your second forward, come back up. Let's go for the other side. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, side bend. Grab your big toe. Now, I want you to feel, however you do it, I want you to feel the stretch in your lateral side, the left side of your body. Maybe you reach with your arm, and then when you have your arm over your head, it's more a stretch because your armpit, everything right here is stretching. But if it's too much for your shoulder, you can place your hand on your head, which is this, this, this 
you're getting the stretch in the lateral side. Breathe here. Carlos, let's go. <laughs> Breathe. Do the same that you did in, that you did in the right side. I mean the left side. Yes. You can you can have your hand on your hip. Yes, then it's not so much with your armpit. I know sometimes the armpit is stretches so much that it feels really uncomfortable. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, rotate your torso over your right leg and hinge forward. Again, lengthen your spine over your right leg and hinge. Release your left shoulder down to keep your shoulders in one line. Shoulders down and away from your ears, per. Yes, thank you. Breathe. Breathe here. Pull yourself forward, come back up. Now the last one, we're going to do it in the front. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hinging from your hips, fall forward. Place your hands wherever you get. Remember, it's not reaching with your arms. It's reaching and lengthening your spine and then hinging from your hips. Shoulders down. Breathe here. I know sometimes you think, ah, oh, this part is not so fun, but we need to stretch and lengthen our muscles because we work so hard to hold the poses that we need to lengthen and stretch the muscles. That means that's the cool down. Come back to center, grab the inside of your knees, place the soles of your feet together, this one should feel so good. Bring your heels as close as you can to your pelvic floor. You can grab your toes. You can keep your elbows in for the classic Bada Konasana, or you can keep your elbows out, which is a modification. Whatever you, uh, you need to do here, please do. Pull your seven forward and hinge. Pull your seven forward and hinge. Shoulders down. Breathe here. Breathe here. Pull your sternum forward one more time and come back up. Why I say that? I want you to come back with a spine straight. Bring your knees to the center. Lay down on your backs. Lay down on your backs. Grab the outside of your feet for happy baby, outside of your feet or outside of your shins. Yes, whatever is available for you. Now make sure that your heels are exactly on top of your knees. Then whatever your legs can be closer or more separated, but your knees are underneath your heels. And open your legs a little bit more, Carlos. Yes, your heels exactly on top of your knees. Yes. Now bring your, your knees closer to your armpits. As you release your tailbone on the ground, your sacrum on the ground, and release your shoulders. Shoulder blades are touching the ground and then you wiggle your shoulder blades as you open your chest a little bit more. And pop your chin into your chest to soften the back of your neck. Now extend only your left leg straight out in front of you. Left leg on the ground. Let's stretch those hip flexors. Let's stretch the hip flexors and the psoas, which is so hard to get, guys. Squish your left thigh bone down into the ground as you bring your right knee closer to your right armpit. Stretching your hamstrings, stretching your glutes. If it's too hard, Carlos, you can grab the outside of your shin. Don't suffer with your hamstrings. It's not on top, on the outside. Still keep your knee on top of your, your knee underneath your heel. Right here, you grab from here. Yes, keep your heel on top of your knee, yes. And the stretching, the hamstrings, and the glutes in the right leg. Now both legs up. Yes, Vera, I have, uh, I only see from Vera, from the knees up. <laughs> okay, extend your right leg on the ground. 
Let's just stretch those uh, hip flexors on your right leg. As you bring your left knee closer to your left armpit, but still keep your knee underneath your heel. Whatever you're grabbing, maybe the outside of your shins, bring your heel higher that your knee is underneath your heel. As you press your right leg, your right femur bone, pressing down into the ground. That lengthening of the muscles we needed to go back to neutral position, to bring our bodies back to neutral position. Yes, from the outside, yes. Yes, Juliana, you're okay. Now both legs up, both knees towards your chest, forehead towards your knees. Get a little tiny, tiny bone of yourself, engaging every single muscle of your body, but your shoulders. Maybe you can kiss your knees and thank your body for all the hard work. And on the exhalation, Relax in Shavasana, final pose. Just relax here in Shavasana and allow yourself to melt your body onto your mat. Just let it go, melt it out. room to this present moment here and now and back to that room to that space that you create for your practice maybe wiggle your toes start gentle movement wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers maybe a big stretch arms over your head legs in front of you good stretch good yang whatever your body needs right now just go for it As I always say, please, please listen to your body closely. Bend your knees and roll to your right. If you have lower back issues, roll to your left. And stay in the fetal position just for a moment to reset. Pressing one hand onto the floor, push yourself up, come up into a sitting position. You can keep your eyes closed. Hands to your heart, lift your chest, bow your head. Remember I just tell you to bow your head to your own heart. Bow your brain, your knowledge to your own heart and allow your heart to lead your way, not your brain. Let your heart to lead your way. From my heart to yours, I can see the light and love in you. We are all one. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys.